OD, would you like to, for those of those people who are just joining us now, would you like to remind everybody, including me, what the hell happened last week? Ooh, well, let me have a think now. Uh, okay, so we finished off, uh, or we started, I should say, last week. We'd just done the shenanigans with the uh, Shadow Elf, and uh, we, we got over that, and we were moving on to the next section where we decided we were going to, uh, Zoga knew we'd been tracked by some uh, lizard people, for want of a better phrase, I can't remember the exact names. And so we were like, well, it's time, we know they're going to come, it's time for us to set up an ambush. And so we all kind of picked the different spots where we we're going to be on this map, uh, you know, up a tree, behind this bush, whatever. And it went super, super dark. Um, uh, and then so the dark map. Dark vision went onto the map. None of, some of us could see, some of us could see almost nothing. So Vanessa hasn't got any dark vision. She's pretty much, well, in the dark, I guess. And uh, <laughs> <laughs> wow, 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 wow. <laughs> and uh, they approach, and I th- we we attack, and I think we get the surprise on them. We kind of get the jump on them. Um, there was a lot, uh, but if I remember rightly, during that battle, we played it pretty well. Uh, I think we rolled well. I think the way we, I think we attacked the right ones. We worked out which were the powerful ones and kind of which ones were the grunts. And I think as a group, we might we we we, we handled it pretty well. Maybe maybe someone went down or someone got someone got you know got poisoned and stuff like that. But it wasn't ever a uh, it wasn't a disastrous uh, battle. It was a long one. It took a, a while because of uh, Blimey, yeah, because there are a lot of lizard <laughs> for lot of lizard people to get through. Um, but we did it. And, uh, yeah, from there, uh, again, we, we moved on. We keep going through this uh, forest. And I believe we'd sent, we'd definitely sent Ko ahead. I can't remember if he was ahead with someone else, but he was scouting ahead. And he came mm. back towards yeah. us. And uh, he was acting very strangely, like he'd seen, seen something horrific. Like yeah, it, it, we couldn't really kind of get the words uh, out of him, if I remember right, exactly what he'd seen. So um, myself and Zoga and maybe Oren, right? Yeah, I think Oren came with us as well. Mm-hmm. Went to this next kind of section or clearing in the forest, and there we found like a, I guess like a battle scene. Um, but what we found when we start investigating the bodies is they were uh, ours. So Vanessor was there. Um, Oren was there. I think she had a throat slit. Zoga was there. And all the other uh, humans were there from um, from the party that we're, we're protecting, except, if I remember rightly, there was a human that we didn't recognize. And so this is causing us like a bit of conflict. Do we take this one back and show it to the humans that we're with us? Do you recognize it, this person? And we kind of think, well, that's not a good idea. Maybe we should, maybe we shouldn't. Anyway, while all this is going on, um, Zoga has this kind of idea that if he uh, stabs himself with the dark arrow, which is the way that the shadow elf uh, went back to his shadow world, uh, yeah, I think he was trying to prove a point that it wouldn't really do anything. So he stabs himself with this arrow, and as he comes back out of it, he's not, uh, for one of a better phrase, he's not really right in the head. He looks a bit like uh, confused at what's happened with him. It's difficult to understand exactly what, what, um, what, what, what's kind of happened to him. But he, he's kind of saying, "Let's just move on. This isn't right. You, you know, don't this. This is magic. We don't need to be threatened by this. Come on, let's go. Let's go." I think we go back to the where the humans are, and uh, well, we kind of we chatting a little bit with uh, ah, Demelza. Was it Demelza? Demelza. Yes. Yeah. And um, Demelza, the trustworthy. Yeah. The tr- <laughs> Stop it. And um, <laughs> Zoga's kind of asking a question like, "What? What? What is this? Showing her the the, the the black arrow? What is this? What is this?" She's like, "Well, this is just an arrow, my dear. Are you okay? You, you go. What is this? Like, it's an <laughs> arrow, Zoga. <laughs> yeah. Uh, are you kind of okay? Is everything okay? And uh, there's a point where I guess Demelza and Zoga kind of go off. And this was a chat that happens in the the secret chat. So Colville and Tom go off and do a chat, but 
when so I think when they came back, I remember distinctly that Cobble said that the Melza looks a little flushed. So I'm not sure what Zog was up to there. Maybe he'll tell us later on in this. Maybe he'll tell us later on in this session. And then I think um, we move on. We're just like we, I think as a group, we're like we've got to get through this forest. Uh, we've got to save these people. Um, that's our job now. Let's go. We're a group. You know, let's band together and get this done. And we get to our next clearing or section of forest. And uh, I think again, someone has scouted forward, told us there's something there. We're like, come on, press on. Enough of this forest. A bit of uh, uh, bravado, I guess, uh, from Savannasaur. And we get there and we find a mutilated dinosaur kind of thing. Uh, which would suggest that this thing has been killed by something much larger than it is. And I think that's about where it was. Give or take. I can't remember, but uh, I, I think I, I did like, or maybe maybe I, I wanted to do like a, a little, I don't know, mm-hmm. some kind of check to see like if I can discern what may have what may have killed this dinosaur? Well, you're gonna have to get close and inspect it. I get close and inspect it. Okay. Do you have? <laughs> uh, I've shared because we've uh, learned nothing. You're, you're, you don't. You don't seem close to it. I can't see it on the map. Yeah, like it's the not dinosaur. There. Well, you, you have to move it. around. Oh, oh, wait. It's not. Oh, right. It's, just, it's like up above. Oh, sorry. I'll, yeah, I'm with you. Anybody want to back me up? Anybody want to back me up? Anybody want to back me up? Oh, I love this. I love watching you guys walk around and. <laughs> oh, jeez. I won't leave you alone. So as I, can't I said, we're on board for this decision. <laughs> look, I wouldn't do this to you again, would I? What else are we gonna do? <laughs> nah, you wouldn't do it to us. Sure. Um, but as you can see, this okay. giant tree has been ripped from its roots in the course of this battle that happened here. There's um. A lot of blood around, and the, you're, there is not actually a Tyrannosaurus Rex corpse here. There's just the head. So, gotcha. right. Unfortunately, I couldn't find. I should have just photoshopped this, but I couldn't find a good just the head of a Tyrannosaurus, the severed head of a Tyrannosaurus Rex icon. Uh, it's too late now. So, what a Google image search history that would be. Yeah. Well. Yeah. <laughs> So well, yeah, uh, I'm gonna inspect the. Uh, I'm gonna inspect its. It's well, I guess wounds. It's just that it's a severed head, but um, yeah. we look for like tracks and stuff too. Okay, go ahead and make a nature check. I think. What skill do you think that would be good for? Hmm. It's tough. Uh. Your it's the, the there's so much blood in the area that it's difficult for you to tell exactly what happened here. Um, the the head of the, it looks like the Tyrannosaurus, like it's got um, actually, yeah, no, yeah, it's something bit its head off. <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> Do we recognize what creature is it? I mean, it's not actually a Tyrannosaurus. It is actually a Tyrannosaurus Rex. Oh. It is literally a Tyrannosaurus Rex. Oh, blimey. Okay. <laughs> well. That's big. That's a big they're, they're, a big norm- they're, they're normally the higher end of the food chain, I tend to find. Yeah, so. yeah, the Rex mm-hmm. kind of... Um... <laughs> we could is there any... It. You said there's a lot of blood around, right? Yeah. So is the blood, like, dripping off in a particular direction, like the body itself mm. got carried away? Mm. Uh, that's a good question. The answer is yes. And which way does it go? <laughs> I, um, mm. Yeah, go ahead and make a perception check, Oren. So I'm only on like one screen right now, so it's like everything I thought I knew where it was is no longer there. Uh, let's see. What do mine elf eyes see? Fudge! So, what were you asking? What did you want to know? I wanted to know um, because you said there's like lots of blood and there's stuff everywhere. There's a lot everywhere. of blood, yeah. Yeah, and it's just his head, but I'm yeah. kind of curious, like, 
you know, looking around. Yeah, yeah, like, yeah, yeah. Am I seeing like a trail of yep. blood like laid off anywhere? Yep. Yep. And it goes yeah. off to the, um, if up is north, which it's not, it's south, but if it were, yeah. it would be yeah. up to the north, it would be going northwest. It would be going like in this direction. Uh huh. So it's going southeast? Yes. Because you guys are going <laughs> south. Also, um, Zoga, make a perception check, please, since you're the only other person here that seems to be inspecting the body. Everyone else is hiding or. Oh, hey, we're looking at the tree. tree. Yeah. It's definitely a big tree. Uh, yeah. Hide. Excuse <laughs> you. <laughs> As if there wasn't something to make us suspicious of inspecting mm-hmm. bodies. <laughs> Yeah, the two people who got fucked by the dead body before are the ones who are like, what a nice tree this is. Hmm. <laughs> so, yeah, there is definitely a trail of blood. And there's actually there's a lot of it. Um, but the blood, it's just blood, Oren. There's no sign of uh, like a corpse being dragged. Yeah. So there's Maybe not like disturbed off. ground or anything like that. Well, there's also, like... does the blood go over this big tree yep yep uh, like there's like this carried it away there's no way <laughs> it's just what you want is something that is big enough and dangerous enough to kill a t-rex and rip its body off its head and it can fly yeah, yeah. It, the body has been taken away somehow that's not dragged which means that there's only one other what's this that's game, the combo what's this game called we're playing again it's dungeons <laughs> and hmm. and manatees. <laughs> cookouts. I don't dungeons know. and cookouts. Dungeons and <laughs> dungeons and movie night. Dungeons are right away. <laughs> Zoga seems to be trying to attract your attention. Hey Zoga. Oh, my uh, I mean. Zoga is like like waves at you guys and like says like, hey, found something. And oh. you see him reach over and just like reach into the mouth of the severed T Rex head. All and right. he plucks from in between a couple of its teeth, he plucks a, a shiny dragon scale. And oh holds my it up. god. <laughs> do I recognize what kind of dragon it is, being of. Ancestry? Sure, absolutely do. Yeah. Uh huh. Yeah. I mean, everybody everybody can see what color the scales are. Oh, uh, okay. Is it your uncle? It's. Can it's, you, yeah, right. you sniff it? Is he related? <laughs> They're green. Green? What do we green. Do, do? Do I know anything about green dragons? Um, uh, go ahead and make a uh, nature check. Nature or arcana, either would work. Describe it for us from over there. What do you see? <laughs> <laughs> so I, I think I know well enough that I'm like not super in tune with nature things. So I might like maybe bring like one of the scales over to Oren to check out Oren do you your, want to look at this your, Oren? Your Oren. Your to Oren. Oren. who am I Anna, Anna. it's, it's one thing busted. for me to do it it's one thing this for me to it. do this it this is the logical conclusion <laughs> of that meme of Matt forgetting which elf is which okay it's, yeah it's it's carried over to us I'm infected now um, oh, okay Lavella sorry Lavella's <laughs> so <laughs> uh, do you know anything about these green dragons? Okay. <laughs> I hand her the scale. Uh, this was inside the T-Rex's mouth. Now that Lavellus is over there, it's initiative. No, I'm, I'm kidding. I'm kidding. That's a joke. That's a joke. That's a joke. That's a joke. <laughs> the T-Rex head like just how, like reanimates. And like, yeah, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> just tries yeah, to bite you. <laughs> when Zoga put his hand in the mouth, I was like, uh-oh. <laughs> I like how Dale did not for an instant believe that. She's like, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> uh-huh. <laughs> I'm jaded now. Look what you've done to me. Um, <laughs> well, we are still. I mean, we're we're going through its territory, right? Yep. Yeah. So it's 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 gonna it's around here somewhere, right? And it can fly, and we're in its in its this, hunting grounds. Is so. this the only way through? I mean, we've got all these humans with us, and if a dragon comes flying in and decides to pick it up, pick one or two off we might be in a spot of bother or do we just try and get through here somewhat and hope we don't disturb it um like what right do now, I know what right do now, I know it's about it's probably feeding right it's eating what it just got so we might have a, bit a little of time, bit of time a little bit That's of time true. to just get through and and a big meal too do you nothing. think it might be like a snake <laughs> where it's like they eat and they're good for like a month 
I mean, I'm hoping it's good for like Actually, 10 that's a minutes. question. I, I think it's a question for Willis. Like, I wonder if I'll take Willis. 10 minutes. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, that was funny. <laughs> um, yeah, what, what do I know uh, about, I mean, this creature based on this scale like do i know anything can i roll a nature check i think every i think everybody in this party has reason to have some experience with dragons like if you right. guys if you guys were a party of like human farmers who were defending your town no but each of you has experience as adventurers that's how you got to first level in fourth edition so any of you right. who want to can make either an arcana or a nature check but it's not going to yield like you know there's not a lot of deep lore there are their animals basically but will we know how long it takes to digest a t-rex body uh you know <laughs> i don't know i'm gonna roll and we'll see what we get okay probably not much but you know worth it. wow fast. okay well you used nature so i'm gonna say that like it looks like whatever happened here happened today probably this morning so given how big a T-Rex is, you don't, the thing you don't know is you don't know how big the dragon is. But tell about a scale? Big enough to carry away a T-Rex yeah, it's body. Big, it's, how big is the scale? It, so it's, probably it's, like, you know, it, it definitely bigger than the T-Rex. Oh, or as yeah. big, yeah, yeah. So, um, it's like an adult. Yeah, yeah, somewhere around there, yeah. Yeah, right. so um, it's, it, it's, it's probably still just kind of munging on this. It'll probably keep this corpse, you know, in its lair, wherever that might be, uh, for days or weeks and just kind of like, you know, ar, 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 and eat it. It won't, it won't gorge itself, but it'll, it'll worry at it for days. Right. Okay. Like an so, alligator. Yeah. Uh, okay. Yeah, sure. Like sniff the skin. We have, we have three days. I don't know. <laughs> oh man. And you get out of here in three days. I, I, I think Vanazor's probably right. I think we've, yeah. we've got a little bit of time. There might be others in this area, but the other thing is, like, I I assume that our big dragon is going to be a little bit territorial. Mm. Yeah, protecting some treasure. Yeah, maybe, maybe we do that. We get the humans and we just kind of, you know, come on. None to see here. Don't look at yeah. that. You delayed. <laughs> just don't look at it. Yeah, keep quiet, keep fast, maybe. Our other option, just want to throw this out here, or a, an other option, I suppose, is we could we could try and huh? like huh? find out where this dragon lives, right? If we if we know where it is, and we know that it's probably just going to be <laughs> munching on this uh, T Rex for a little while, we could probably. Uh, the Vatasaur kind of turns... More easily avoid it. Turns really quickly towards Zoga. and goes, Mmm, dragons are territorial. If we're in its territory, it will find us. And it will we're, attack us. We're already in its territory. Then we should move away. How... Do we have an idea? I don't know if this is maybe something Lavellas knows from her nature check uh, meta. But, <laughs> like, do we have an idea of, like, how big their territories tend to be oh i mean miles is it like because it's not like full forest right no it won't be the entire forest but it'll be yeah you know depending on how big it is it'll be you know Mm -hmm. several 24 mile hexes that's a lot of miles that's more miles than we can travel in a single day (laughs) with all these people i mean Hmm. i think we're just gonna have to well you know we're gonna have to try and we try and fall for it. Yeah, if we can avoid fighting a dragon, that'd be awesome. But uh, knowing that we're already within its its uh, hunting grounds. Mm-hmm. I mean, it's tricky because it's like my gut instinct says that we'll have more cover from the dragon if we try to like travel in the thicker parts of the forest, but that'll take longer, you know? Yeah, and I'm thinking of the other thing, which is that like everybody bunched up together just makes it like kind of a sitting duck yeah. situation. Yeah. So I'm trying to figure out what to do as far as I mean, as even like, a griffin saw that opportunity, <laughs> right? Like, <laughs> yeah. Um, I do think you have a point though as far as like having more having more cover because this, this area is like it's like um, more open. Is that right? It's like a field or something or a, a, a clearing? Well, where you are now, yeah, but it's, yeah. as you can see, just the edge of this map, there's a lot of trees and stuff. Yeah. 
But you got the T-Rex out here, or you got the T-Rex out here. Um, so if we go deeper into the forest and whenever we like do campouts and stuff like that, we'll probably, maybe, I don't know if it makes sense to kind of split up and have, just to separate a little bit and have smaller camps, and then we can kind of do our rounds whenever we... Uh, mm. Um, based on the so the scale came from the t-rex's mouth yes does it look like the t-rex you know got in a couple good chumps like is there is there much in the way of evidence in the t-rex's mouth or is it there was a single scale no there, there are more no there, there are more several scales. yeah oh. <laughs> okay because like i'm just thinking like at least if the t-rex did a little bit of damage <laughs> then that's a good thing right on a scale of one to T Rex, how strong are we? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I don't, I don't, I don't know from a meta perspective. We've gone up against, an, like, in a previous game, uh, Colvultrian Allosaur at us. Justice would love to to go find the dragon, but Co would prefer <laughs> not to find the dragon. <laughs> Just as likes and gets excited by talk of the dragon's lair. Oh, thinks <laughs> we should keep moving. <laughs> yeah. Don't do look. like a, I don't know, like a history roll or something. Like, oh, like have have, oh, have, have, have my people forest. fought dragons before? Have we fought dinosaurs before? Like, just Dra- kind of getting a gauge of like the threat level here. Actually, dragons are more common than dinosaurs. Oh. Yeah. There are it's a like shadow T Rex from the other realm. No, I mean it's just that um, <laughs> the 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 place that the the, 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 pla- the island yeah. the island that dinosaurs are native to is off the coast of um, the continent that you, that you guys are on, and so you uh, you get every once in a while you get dinos in these forests. So Zoga has had that experience, but dragons are a lot more common. Uh, like Zoga knows of three or five different dragons in his part of the his part of the forest just off the top of his head that you just don't go near but uh then there are other dragons that you know sometimes you sometimes the dragon terror it's just like uh it's just like anything else in the forest zoga sometimes the dragon's territory starts to overlap with yours and you got to get a war band together and go take it down you just gotta and how successful are you usually well, look, taking I mean, them down. Ko's, I mean, Zoga's still here. I mean, that's good. <laughs> look, I feel like it's it's got a big meal. It's probably a little bit injured. I don't know whether it's worth wasting the time that we could spend traveling to try and get out of its territory, trying to find where it is. We should attack it now while it's weakened. Okay. <laughs> is that what you're saying? I love this idea. I, it's the opposite. <laughs> <laughs> it's always a good idea to attack so animals good, no. when they're feeding. <laughs> Based on like, you know, uh, I, I feel like, you know, we might have like a pretty good idea of like, the kind of stuff that we can take on based on like our skill and experience level. <laughs> yeah. uh, does a dragon seem out of the question? <laughs> to Oren? No way. Oren is 100% convinced that if, if like, if uh, there were, certainly if it was you and four fellow guard, four of the elven high guard, you're like, no problem. Dragon, no problem. And these guys seem what about, about. What about with this Muttley crew? Well, you know, <laughs> the elven high guard are pretty badass. Um, but they're not as versatile as you guys. They tend to be more like they would be like five orans. So in some senses, you guys oh, are would be totally fine. In some senses, you guys are squishier than five orans would be. But you're a lot more versatile and you can do a lot more crazy shit. Mm-hmm. Are you being for real right now? Or are you yeah. like just baiting us into fighting mm. this shit? I think we're being baited. I'm sold. I want to do it. Here's the, yeah, here's the thing. I mean, I mean I'm just <laughs> thinking about your character, Oren, and I think your character seems confident. You just exude confidence and uh, you don't get flustered by stuff. And so okay. you say, what is the task at hand? What is the task at hand? The task at hand is get the humans out of the forest, right? That's what we, we were sold on last time. But we can't <laughs> do that if they're going to get eaten by a dragon. But they might mm, not get a... eaten by the dragon. We can mm. we can cross that bridge when we come to it. We can slay that dragon we when we come through, to yeah, it. If we move through swift, swiftly, you know, he's eating. Like you say, might even be injured a little bit. We might be able to get through. But 
to, to go I doubt back. it, man. We've got 20 people. They're slow. They're carrying around furniture. Like, the five of us, could we sneak we past this the- thing? Absolutely. Could we sneak 20 kind of bumbling, no offense, people out of here before the dragon gets hungry again and comes looking? I don't think so. Even if it doesn't get hungry with, like, it being territorial, it might just, like, you know. Should we do, should we do, should we do something, also should we do something silly? Should we oh, follow oh, the, should we, should wait, we follow the blood? Wait, no, wait, ah, ooh, ooh, wait, wait. Are you, are you, is that in character? Is that, is <laughs> Lavellis like, your toe. I just feel like Lavellis is like a little Muppet hopping up and down and being like, ooh, ooh, ah, ooh. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, look, I don't need your attitude. Um, <laughs> Less commentary remember. from the dungeon master. <laughs> Sorry, go ahead. Um, as I, because I'm because I'm an invoker, I have um, once per day without uh, paying the component cost, I can um, cast Hand of Fate and um, ask a ghost hand what we should do. <laughs> what is a ghost? I, a ghost hand? I'm all down for ghost. Yeah, hand. Ghost does a ghost hand just go like thumbs up or thumbs down? Yeah. What is, like what does the hand um, do? Does the hand like it's like it, rock, it, scissors, paper? Shake. Like. <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> So, so the hand, um, according to the description, it like points at things, right? Um, which can be the path that you should take or whatever. But you can also do things like I could, I could pick up two rocks and, or, or up to three rocks by the sounds. I don't know. A bunch. I could pick a bunch of rocks up and I could go. Should we do this or should we do this? And the hand will point at the rock representing the right thing. Oh, that's cool. Whoa. Oh. I mean. Matthew might want to look at the actual text. When you perform this ritual, ask up to three questions about possible courses of action. A translucent blue hand appears and indicates with a gesture what the most rewarding course of action is. If you describe courses of action that that refer to directions or specific objects, then the hand points toward the choice that bears the greatest reward. If you ask the hand, should we head down the stairs or through the doors? Then the hand responds by pointing to either the stairs or the doors. If you ask the hand, which of these three lovers should we pull first? Then the hand responds by pointing to a lover. Yeah, it seems pretty pretty, pretty straightforward. Yeah. I don't trust that tricksy um, wording of like the thing with the uh-huh. most reward, right? So I think uh-huh. that when we ask it a question, we would have to be very specific saying like, I define the most reward as humans not dying, right? Like, <laughs> yeah. Just make I, sure I would define the most reward as the most reward. <laughs> the most good reward. <laughs> like well, we can ask, ask the dragon board. Minutes, it's not your ghost hand. <laughs> <laughs> it's not your ghost hand. Keep your we hands off my ghost hand. Is it like uh, the compass in Pirates of the Caribbean? The what? Oh, the compass? You no, know, the compass that always oh, yeah. points to what the holder wants most. And like, yeah. if you're in love, it like points to your crush. Where they are. But yeah. if you want tons and tons of cash, it points to piles of money. Points to the dragon who killed this T-Rex. Yeah, because, <laughs> yeah. Well, Zoga likes to Melza. She came out blushing so much. I like it, cast the ritual and the hand shows up and Lavelle says, how's it going? And the hand goes, thumbs up, and then disappears. I'm like, shit, oh my God. That, was, that was the wrong question. <laughs> Fuck. Uh, it's literally like a ghost monkey's paw. <laughs> it's the worst, God. the worst ghost, ritual ever. Ghost monkeys are the worst. <laughs> I used to be so scared of monkey paws. Fun fact about me. Anyway. What's there to be scared of exactly? I don't know. I watched a a Ripping Yarns video about a monkey paw and I got freaked out. And then there was that Treehouse of Terror episode That's so awesome. I think that, yeah, I think there's a good chance that a a, a Halloween Mimnos is just going to be us watching two hours of Treehouse of Horror. (laughs) <laughs> so good. Anyway. All right. So, I mean, if, if people have, like, options that you want to consult the hand of fate, we can do that. Which I think might be a better choice than just charging off to fight a dragon. Can you ask it which one of us is the fairest in the land? Um, I'm, I'm not going to do that. We all know it's you. Aww. <laughs> I mean, look, the mustache is the mustache. What can be done? It, yeah, can't fight it. <laughs> All right. What what should what should we ask the hand? What are our options? Our options are um, try to sneak around the dragon. Yeah. Or, or go kill least, the dragon now. Go through its territory, right? We don't even know where it is. Yeah. Yeah. So okay. Wait. 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 Let's be okay. Let's be a little more broad then, I guess. Um, our options are just keep our heads down and keep traveling with the humans. Um, and get ambushed find- by a dragon. 
Okay. That, let's, mm-hmm. let's not say that when we talk to the hand. Um, <laughs> <laughs> find the oh dragon's God. lair so that we can avoid it. Or um, <laughs> That's my go favorite plan. fight the dragon, right? <laughs> Those are our three options that we're talking about. Yeah. We'll leave. Yeah. Can we acknowledge we'll that find the dragon's lair so we can? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Okay. I don't see a ton of a point in finding the dragon's lair if we're not going to. You were the one who first suggested that, Zoga. I'm starting to feel like you just want to fight a dragon. Yeah. I would fight a dragon. But I want that too. Okay. I well... mean, Zoga looks like the kind of motherfucker <laughs> that would want to fight a dragon. Oh, I mean, look, he's standing. On, he's standing heroically on top of the fallen tree. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> okay. I think. I think those are the the. Um, options I'm going to pitch to the Hand of Fate. I would like to summon the Hand of Fate, uh-huh. please, DM. Yeah. Okay. I would like to explicitly tell the Hand of Fate that I define the most reward as the least humans who are in our charge dying. And then I would like to pick up a rock for each of those three options and say, you know, <laughs> this one on the left we just keep going with the humans and keep our heads down. This one in the middle, we find the dragon and we use it, that information to avoid it. And then this rock on the right means that the we go and we kill the dragon. I had a fight. <laughs> it's pointing to the right. Kind of creepy when it moves. Wait, what way is it? <laughs> huh? Where, where's it going to point? Where's it going to point? Well, it can point. Yeah, it can. The, but that so but what does Let each put, I'm gonna, what does each direction gonna, mean like, um so the you had you said you're gonna put three stones out did you do that yeah i'm i well i, I don't okay. i don't know how to do that but well that's fine no know. no no but I, I i get that but yeah, so um the hand a, you know a blue a blue I'm do this a blue spectral hand is conjured by lavella so i think it takes you like 10 minutes to do it or does it Oh, nice. Look at that. Yeah, it takes 10 minutes, but no components cost because... Cool. So you guys watch You guys watch Lavellus uh, chant and um, make complicated geometric shapes in the air with their hands. Right. And, okay. And what does each one... Which one does each one mean? So the one to my left... Yes. ...is we just keep traveling with the humans. Uh-huh. Try to be quick. Try to be quiet. Okay. The one uh, ahead of me, in front of me, up yeah. the top, yeah. is we find the dragon's lair, but we just use that information to avoid the dragon. We don't confront the dragon. Right. The one on the right is we find the dragon's lair and we try to kill the dragon. All right. Well, and and your goal is the the, the answer. The question is which is the what's the question. These are the three options, but what's the question? The question is, which of these three paths Mm -hmm. will um, spare the most humans that we're looking after? Okay, well, you all watch as the the hand finally, after ten minutes of chanting and... um, and ritual, this elven, this blue elven hand uh, manifests in the air. And Lavellus asks her question: Do you ask it in Elvish, or do you ask it in Common? Oh, almost certainly in Elvish. Okay, so you hear you hear Lavellus gabble in her heathen lingo, and the the hand slowly. Oh, that's not what I want. The hand slowly rotates. <gasps> oh. <laughs> Oh. Go and kill yes. the dragon. <laughs> we gotta go kill a dragon. I mean, yes. All right. You ask the hand, you get the hand's answer. Okay. <laughs> well, we talked I to the hand. To it. The hand gave its uh, gave its opinion. All right. I guess we're gonna go kill a dragon. <laughs> Yay. <laughs> <Funny>. <laughs> or the dragon. I mean, whatever. Whatever. The, it's this is your attempt to. Uh, and Sir Vanazor is not sure a ghost hand is always right. Yeah. <laughs> famous, famous dragon man saying that the ghost hand isn't always right. <laughs> it's 
Is Servanazor, are you going to encounter any conflicts of interest with us hunting this dragon down? What a I good don't know. question. That's a good question. I don't know. That's a good what question. Else? I don't know. Have you ever fought a dragon before, Servanazor? I don't think so. No. You don't think so? Okay. Nah. No. Well. <laughs> hmm. But if it's uh, this creature's in the way of uh, our mission, and I uh, kind of put my hand on Zoga's shoulder. Zoga grins yeah. smugly. I knew it. I knew the hand would agree with me. <laughs> and we'll move on. Let's find the dragon. And a boy. <laughs> Do you intend? Do we go stand? <laughs> Do you intend on informing the humans of what you're doing? Yeah, we should. Well, yeah, we should tell them. We should. We left them kind of out of sight, didn't we? Like off, off the map a bit. So. Oh shoot! Yeah. We left we're, them alone like, in this place. Oh, we're going to, they could all be just ripped to pieces oh, by a God. dragon. Yeah, that would solve a lot more problems, to be honest. Go on, the Velis is off. Just go and tell them. <laughs> Do um. Do humans know, like, what to do in the case of a dragon attack? Like, is there equivalent Stop of duck and roll. cover, <laughs> like, for dragons? Or do we need to teach them, like, hey, if you hear wings, you should run around screaming. Everyone yeah, lie like... down, like. <laughs> no, don't lie down. <laughs> I mean, what they would do is they would panic and run in every direction. We'd probably okay, hear so them. we need to give them a spiel. Yeah. Um, okay. You folks head can back. Can we remove the hand from the map? It's creeping me out. <laughs> Well, I mean, I think the hand is would be feel kind of like left out. It's like a crawling claw. I high five the hand and banish it. <laughs> banish. It thinks you're. It thinks, it thinks you're its daddy. Oh no. well. It likes you. It likes you, Co. Um, <laughs> that right, there is a genuine ghost hand of a dead person. It's genuine, authentic, one hundred percent authentic. Dead ghost hand. Um, <laughs> all right. Uh. So you guys head back to the you guys head back to the caravan, and the humans are at this point used to you folks having little powwows whenever you find something, and they're all kind of waiting to see what what you found ahead. Of course, before we go back to the humans, we turn around and find out that Demels has been there the whole time. Oh my god. <laughs> That would have been a good idea. I wish I thought of that. Jesus. <laughs> what do you tell the humans? Mm, I don't know if we should tell them too specifically about what we're doing. You know, don't want to put just, them into a panic. Yeah, we could just tell them, you know, we tell suspect. them, though, because we can assure them that the ghost hand told us that this is the safest for them. Let's not tell them about the ghost hand. <laughs> not, I don't think everybody in the party believes in the ghost hand, much less the humans. Well, we should just act very confident in the fact that, like, you know, we've encountered a situation, like, we are in the territory of something, but, like, there's no way we can move out of it in time, so we're going to we're gonna handle it. Like, we're going to go track it down. We, we, we'll just say we know where it's at, you know, we're following the tracks, and we'll take care of it before it becomes a problem. How do you track something that flies? Lots of blood on the ground. Oh, the the T Rex blood. Point. Well, I mean, yeah, that's definitely a trail you can follow. Yeah. Yeah. Single-handedly, that's brilliant, Justice. <laughs> Justice well, gets a gold star. Oh my goodness! Oh, thank you. Single-handedly. <laughs> D- disembodied handedly. All right. So uh, you're you're uh, you're going to tell the humans what now? Uh, I think that I think that we we believe that we're in a dragon's territory. Like, well, let, let's let's like, work on this. That was a great we choice. Lied to him so much. <laughs> Don't we owe them some truth? Yeah, I think in this case too, it's just like you know, if we tell them the truth, it's not like they can just flee. Because like, where are they going to go? We're in the dragon's territory already, so we need to handle the situation. So that way it doesn't become a problem for them. So I think if we also, and like, we probably should just tell this to Demelza first, just so she can, we, 
you know, she's going to be the one here with the people, so... Well, it looks, like, the I, idea. looks like I overheard you already. You, you scared... you scared Anne. <laughs> <gasps> what happened? Wait, I don't have my map anymore. Are we off the map? Uh, I nudged... I, I nudged Ko. Went over to Anne Pauly. Mm -hmm. Go. Mm. I have to do are some parenting. Are we on a different map? No, it's in chat, Anna. Oh, I see. Okay. Sorry. Dragon. Where the fuck? You said. Where the fuck they come from? What do you mean, where they come from? You're talking to them. What? No, what? we're not. Yeah, you are. I you said, said, what are you going to say to the humans? And, and I you said, said, let's workshop it. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I heard there's a, we're in a dragon's territory, and that's what they heard. Well, that's why I was saying we should talk with Demelza, so that way Demelza can... She, like she'll know how to like handle these folks while uh while we go and do this thing. A good death is its own reward, Co says. Oh my god, god. Is awesome. incredible. <laughs> uh okay, so that is what I kind of goes stands up and walks, like, walks over to the humans, he's like there's best nothing to fear here. Wh whatever lies ahead, we will clear it like we've cleared everything else that we've, that we've come across in this in this forest. We will carry you, take you to safety. We're going south. We just have to move ahead, find this creature, deal with it, and keep you safe, as we have done before, and we will continue to. <clears throat> I'm convinced. <laughs> oh, and if you don't come back with... Have we let you down before? We will not let you down this time. Okay, well, I mean, there's nothing they can do about it except be worried, which they are. All this talk, yeah, of, well, all this talk of dragons. We could tell them about the ghost head. <laughs> we should just say. <laughs> mm -hmm. that be I better personally or? find the ghost hand very comforting. <laughs> <laughs> we have consulted the hand. <laughs> This is our wait, next. Wait, goal. wait, 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 wait. What if what if the ghost hand says that it's the best for the humans because we'll die, and the hu and the humans won't be there. I don't know if they'd be better <laughs> off without us. That's true. That's a good point. That's a good point. The ghost hand Remember knows. Grandma Polly. The ghost hand knows these things. <laughs> it is the dragon who will die. <laughs> Did, <laughs> was that meant to be a whisper, Matt? Nope. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> oh Kenbert's just having opinions about my ghost hand, all right? Look, I'm just, you know, Kenbert, you're not being real specific about the ghost hand. Kind of general. Kenbert, how it seems much kind do you of general. Know about ghost hands, all right? All right, Kenbert? How much do you know about ghost hands, all right? <laughs> he just wants to, Kenbert just wants to know, like, what did this ghost hand say exactly? <laughs> Are we, did, is it the best option because only some of us die? <laughs> Okay, well, look, look, look. Can we talk if to this ghost option, hand before you if, leave us? No, I specify. Senma, listen to me. I specify <laughs> I'm being pushed to speak to the humans, and it never goes well. Look, Senbert, I specifically asked the ghost hand for the least human deaths, all right? So if this is the best option, then what other option are you going to take? Least human? <laughs> how many? How, how, how many human deaths? Which what, what, Me? Which how many of us? I guess we'll find out, said Bert. <laughs> I guess we'll find out. <laughs> Have you forgotten when we stood idly by as the doom spider crawled and <laughs> ate from your ranks? Trust us. <laughs> Have you forgotten while we while we stood by and watched and went, wow, that's a big spider. <laughs> while we waited for the ideal time to enter combat? <laughs> yeah. No, no, don't do it yet. Yeah, this is not the most dramatic moment for us to attack. Wait till it's eaten a human. That'd be very dramatic. All right, well. walk very far forward. <laughs> um, what a great question, Anna. Anyway, so, yeah, all right. Well, I mean, the humans are not happy about this, but um, Demelza is going to try and calm them down and keep them sane while you folks uh, march off to your deaths. I mean, march off to victory. <laughs> All right. well, good. Let's go. Let's go get Let's us a dragon. Go. Yeah, we don't the hunt is start. on. We want to keep the game this is afoot. Fresh. The humans are are oddly quiet as you march off into the forest, uh, and they look at you uh, as though unsure if they will ever meet you again. Oh my god! So dramatic. <laughs> All right. So we're just gonna uh, 
well, did we... I'm assuming we also talked to, like, Demelza, and she's just gonna, like, I don't know, do her thing to keep the humans safe in the meantime? Yeah, I mean... Yeah, hold down the fort. Yep. Yeah. <clears throat> she's gonna try and do a better job than... She's gonna try and do a good job of just calming them down and reminding them that you guys are heroes and know what you're doing. You're saying that we didn't do a good job? I mean, you did a job. <laughs> <laughs> wow. <laughs> Alright, so, uh, somebody make a, um... Whatever the whatever the skill is in this game for tracking, uh, we're gonna track it. Nature. What the fuck nature. was that? My nature. There's like, me to grapple. I only have plus one. I think plus also three. perception does like tracking stuff. Oh, plus six. Nature, I think, is um, tracking. I think. Let's see. Uh, perception says that you can use it to follow tracks. Oh well, that's that. That's good. Yeah. My perception's pretty good. Yeah, your perception's better than my nature, right? I got like a nine. nine. Yeah. Yeah. So I can I can do a roll on that, and then I can kind of like maybe lead the way. Yeah, go for it. Why not? Okay, here we go. Oh wow. Nice. Yay. All right, you follow this the trail of blood. Um it it starts off, there's a lot of blood, but it slowly turns into a trickle and becomes harder to follow so it takes a couple of hours for you to um, hone in on this thing's layer and it seems as though if indeed that's where you're going and it seems as though the um, layer is following or it seems as though the path of blood is basically crisscrossing back and forth over a very small stream whoa okay. blood trail whoa cool Ooh. shall we yeah, I mean, the, the what is that? Is it going into, like, a castle or something? Or is it are we going indoors, or is it just a ruin? There's some kind of ruins here. Of, of oh, what? Full-on bridge yeah. in this place. Horrible, yeah. horrible forest. Yeah. Ooh, can, I, can I do a history check? Sure. Yeah. <gasps> do it. Uh, this is a ancient goal... Fortress. Oh, I'm so excited! Cool. Uh, oh. It's it's really old. It's certainly older than any of the human civilizations around here, and it is now it is now a ruin. <sighs> ah, we keep following the old blood. Yeah, I think. I mean, let's just let's let's track this thing. Can we? I'm uh, should we be trying to be quiet? I know it's not our special. Oh, yeah, that's a good idea. Uh, should I know, so we like at least Orin be and Zoga, uh, Orin's not going anywhere. She's like, you guys have fun. Oh, sorry. <laughs> I don't... Yeah. Here we go. Can, can we make stealthy checks? Can we make stealthy checks? Uh, so at this point, Zoga and Vanazor... <gasps> not it again. What? <laughs> Bowling off, drinking the wine when we shouldn't. Okay, well... <laughs> Co and I are making stealthy checks. <laughs> we earned that wine. Yeah, true. <laughs> um, um, uh, yeah, I mean, I'm going to try and be sure. Sure. Yeah, I'll roll it, but my stealth is like, whatever. Man. Either he's going to wow. get married. I'll do it. How so, many ones? So I can say that, like, um, n- none of you can hear Co at all. He is like <laughs> he is That's so he is so quiet. He's quieter than a mouse. On the other hand, Lavellus <laughs> is like everybody, be quiet. <laughs> <laughs> like, hey, everybody! Yeah, yeah. We should try to be stealthy. Yeah, Zoga, Zoga, and Oren are are exceptionally. Oh no, I'm sorry. Uh, that's a, that was your history check. Um, Zoga is not very stealthy. When you use a dice tower, what do you do? Just drag it over. Yeah, just roll your die in the tower. Ah, there we go. Sorry, I don't think I did it probably. No, I'm doing it now. Yeah, I mean, you're certainly stealthier than Lavellus. Okay, all right. I feel <laughs> judged. I feel judged. <laughs> uh, Ko, no, I should say Zoga and Vanazor make perception checks. Yes, in the tower again. Yeah. Okay. What the fuck? I see. Servanazor. Okay. Um, Servanazor. Yes. You hear a noise Mm -mm. coming from the... Is it me? 
you hear two noises. One is Lavellus. What? <laughs> <laughs> and you Not hear <laughs> you hear what? this splash 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 splash. You hear this sound of like a <laughs> we might have the element of surprise here. The beast, it feasts. We've got to go. Can I see the stairs? I can see some stairs going up. Okay. I'm concerned that that yeah. was a dragon perception check. Um, and I saw looks around at Zoga and gestures. Come on. <laughs> so, I mean, yeah. Can you guys see what's in this pool? Yeah. Yeah. Is it a pool? As soon as Ko, hang on a minute. Oh, when I was up here? Climbed up. Yeah, climbed up here. You're going to be at the same height. We're going to die. We're going to be murdered by a dragon. Well, I mean... Don't worry, really, boss. Might be murdered. I think we can, kick, I think we can get, kick its ass. Co, you notice. Okay. No, the uh, minute any of you go down, I'm running. <laughs> so, Co, you see a uh, green dragon. It's large. It's um, not the largest dragon any of you have seen, but it's not a ju- it's not a juvenile. Okay. And it is munging on the carcass of a headless T Rex. Probably hmm. the same T Rex that you saw the body of that of earlier. That makes sense. It suddenly. Stops eating, its head pulls up, and it goes, <laughs> and it looks in Lavellus's direction. Ooh. Mm. I throw a rock in the other direction. <laughs> We're going on a dragon hunt. <laughs> it is going to be initiative. <sighs> okay. Oh, yeah. uh, Do you want to put these in the tower? No, you can roll initiative normally. I oh, mean, wait, you guys hang on a minute. I feel okay, that's fine. Uh, like, um, yes. What? What? This is crazy. I feel like I can't be blamed because I didn't even want to come here. Really, if anything, it's you your, hand. your hand's fault. Your hand. It was your hand. Your yeah. hand. Yeah, it's the this. hand's fault. I don't control the hand. But, I what do you mean? You don't control hand. You summoned the hand. It's your hand. Yeah, but I. But the hand shows its own answer. All right, this is not on me. Yeah, we are just we are we're level two, aren't we? We're yep. About to go and fire track. Yep. This is. You got this. Look, this is a dangerous fucking forest, bro. Wee. Oh, that's Ooh. quite good. Ow. Yeah, huh. nice. I can't believe I have a plus six to initiative, and I'm still <laughs> at the bottom of the. <laughs> Yeah, that's crazy. People rolled really well for initiative. You guys are definitely, you guys are, as far as I can tell, you guys are professional dragon hunters. I can see no downside to this. Co, the dragon has detected Lavellus and is, um, and looks really eager to add to its, um, to its stash of meat and treasure. So it definitely knows that. That Lavellus is down there. How tall is this object that I'm on? Theoretically, like, could I jump from the upper little thingy? Uh, well, I don't know if you can see, but this pool that this dragon is in is yeah. is up. It's like uh, 15 feet up. There are stairs that lead. There are stairs that lead up to the pool that Cervanazor is at the foot of. Can you see those? Okay. Yeah, I'm wondering if I could jump from the little tall part of this over onto the pool. Yeah, absolutely you could if you can jump far enough. Yeah, you might have to like run to the. You might have to. Well, you don't. I don't know if you need a running jump with your uh, fucking. Um, no, I don't. The smeagards, whatever the thing is you got that used to be green thing. Wings. Yeah, yeah. I like smeagards. That's kind of fun. I just I just couldn't remember off the top of my head. Um, yeah, just fully disappeared. Trying to get back on. The thing, I mean, to, I mean, this thing can fly, FYI. So, yeah, that's a good point. Um, okay, well, I. What was that, Od? Does it look injured at all? Oh yeah, no, it's 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 wounded. Yeah. Oh okay. Yeah, you can see you can see these uh, small scratches along its like um, chest, as though as though from tiny T Rex claws, and a couple of big chunks taken out of its shoulder where its wing joins its uh, neck, as though a giant bite from a T Rex. 
but it's, I mean, uh, it, it's here, it's wounded, actually. but it's not like limping or anything like that. It seems it seems right. like it won. A and it's a scratches. Yeah, yeah. we're for dead by then. Oh no, the dragons! Oh shit! Oh, uh, every time you try to do this, Justice, you fucking roll really fucking well. Thank you. <laughs> Let's see. Okay, why, okay. why are you rolling twice? Because uh, I, as a barrel man, anytime I make oh, that's an right, that's right, that's right. Sorry, yeah, yeah, yeah. So well, one, two, there, there's no three, point in rolling four. a second time. The first time was maximum. Five, six. I can jump seven. Yes. So, like, can I literally jump to here? That's seven squares, but I know there's an elevation difference. I just don't know. No, if you're it's at different. the same. No, you're at the same. If you're standing up on top of that stone structure, then you're at the same height as that thing. Oh yeah. Well, then I'm gonna open the gates of battle. Oh God. That's right. Open the gates, baby. It's time to open the gates. Let's hope I hit. <laughs> yes. Ah. Whoa. And now I'm going to flurry. And then I'm going to flurry again with my one, my once per day power. I may have to and then I think that. I'm going to do my stones endurance and I'm going to call it there. How about that? Is that enough? Oops. Why does it say that Zoga is currently yeah. here? It's kind of, it's round one. There we go. Sorry. Yeah, so I run up there. I, I just kind of spring into the air. I take my club off my back and uh, while it's distracted, I just kind of run up the like reverse yabba dabba do style up this headless <gasps> T-Rex and just clock it in the face uh, and then just do qu two quick jabs uh, and then lean back and my skin starts to coat all over with uh, uh, stone. And I'd like it to kind of match the terrain since I'm so stealthy that maybe it's like this worn kind of almost uh, Mayan looking stone. Yeah, that's cool. Yeah. And that's my like opinion. smooth, like, yeah, with maybe like some vine decorations in it or something, even though they're not real vines. No, I get it. Yeah. I've got to, I've got to go up those stairs. I haven't got any fancy jumping moves. <laughs> yeah. Well. It's going to take me a while to get up there. I think, uh, well, well you could just stay where you are. Maybe it'll come to you. No, I'm going to go and help my friend Co. One, two, three, four, five, six for movement. And I guess I could charge. One, two, three, four, five. Should be six, seven, eight, right? Six. Oh, yeah, it's seven, eight, two at the end. Because it's yeah. plus two. Yeah. Plus two movement. I think that's one too far, but okay. Well, it? Uh, I don't remember. Back. There you go. Um, that's just, I mean, I can't. Charging ends uh, your turn. Yeah, basically, that's it, isn't it? I can't yep. get any closer. Okay. Uh, Oh, where's the button? Oh, hang on. I'll, I'll get it around. There we go. Good. All right. So, uh, boop, boop, boop. Boop. Beep. Beep. All right. Um, this is 15 feet up. Yeah. That's climbing work. One square gets you two squares. You would need uh, six squares of movement to climb all the way up because it's three squares up. I can climb like part of the way up though, right? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. I'm, I'm going to try and because mm. my movement is five. So I'm, I'm going to try and climb, you know, I guess two thirds of the way up this wall. Okay. So you're two squares up and you got one square more to go. And that one square is going to cost you two squares on your next turn. Is that the idea? Um, two squares on my next turn. Well, it's going to cost you two squares of movement to move one the final square up. If you're gotcha. two thirds of the way up, right, that means you have one square of climbing left to do, and it's double. So that means it's going to cost you two squares. Right. Cool. Yeah, that works. Okay. Orin. Let me see. Yeah, let me see real quick. Okay. In that case, I might just go up the stairs. One, two, three, four, five. Six, and I will do a run, so I'll just add two. I think. Or actually, how far am I now? Fifteen blah blah blahs. Uh range is ten. So I can't quite make it actually. 
Fuck, where did I start? Well, that's okay. I'll move my two instead of shooting my slingshot. One, two. So I'm running. And I think that'll do it for me. So. I have no idea what I'm doing with my turn. Because I only just got back in. Um look, I'm just gonna I'm just gonna run. I'm just gonna run up there, right? <laughs> one, two, three, four, five, six, one, two, three, four, five, six. Great. I know you're all jealous of my really cool turn that I just took. But that's okay. With some practice, you too can spend your turn <laughs> moving. Nervous. But not running. I only use my one thing. In that case, I am going to do another run. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Okay. Actually, seven, six. Five. This thing's going to fly. We're so screwed. Oh. I mean, you guys are doing a pretty good job of just coming to it. <laughs> so. Maybe not. I'm going to stay here. <coughs> okay, so now it's the dragon's turn, right? The dragon's going to target Ko, since Ko's right here. Uh, Actually, um... Actually... The dragon <laughs> rears back. It's pissed at Ko, who... Ko is by far the physically largest person in this group, and he just seems dwarfed by this massive fucking dragon that uh, rears up out of the water and you see it fulsome in its glory as its wings spread out it's a hexapod so it's got four feet two wings its claws its teeth are dripping with poisonous saliva that hisses when it's when the saliva drops and falls on the t-rex corpse um and it 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 rears back like it's going to claw like a cat about to swipe at Ko. And then it stops for a moment and it looks over at Sir Vanazor. Oh. Uh, eh. <laughs> Lovingly. And it <sighs> says... Daddy? Oh, I forgot dragons can talk. Oh, <laughs> But yeah. it growls it. It growls it in this, like, ancient uh, language that sounds like Latin, if you guys knew what Latin was. Oh, yeah, that definitely works. Okay, so you all watch Cervanazor is, like, fascinated by this creature, and he walks. Oh, my God. Closer toward it. Then the dragon, no. then the dragon attacks go. Sorry. Uh-oh, uh-oh. Mm. And uh, let's see. Is that attack on the on the, the uh, chat or this whatever you call this thing on the left? Is that meant for me or Vanasaur? That, w- uh, that was it doing its thing to Zervanasaur. Oh, okay. Just check. <gasps> what? Hmm? I'm just, I'm just hmm? yeah. Yeah. worried, that's all. Oh, no reason to worry. Yeah, as soon as you said that word, I just... Walk towards a dragon. Oh no! Can we? I don't like we... seeing rolls versus will that aren't from me. <laughs> <laughs> to us, does it look peculiar? Vanazor like just oh, walking. Yeah. Absolutely. Okay. Well, I don't know. I mean, he's a hero. Maybe he's just like in awe of this creature and and eager, eager to to vanquish it. But I mean. It's certainly an unusual thing for him to do, considering that he just finished his complete movement. Um, okay, well, he's got code targeted. I think he'll just do this. Oh my God! Hey, Co is hey. In- <laughs> Co is incredibly agile, and this thing reaches out to swipe it, and Co literally just ducks under it like he's been fighting dragons all his life. The problem is. Um, even with Ko's intense, agi- like superhuman agility, some of the dragon's poisonous saliva gets on Ko. Uh, well, even if he missed it. Uh, it's, yeah. Does it like sizzle through my rock? And no, 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 no. Like no, it all, what, it, what it does is it drops the, the, the poisonous 
acid saliva drops onto your shoulder and down your arm and all it does is it smokes and it like cleans off the green lichen that is inside all the cracks and it just like cleans it so now now it just looks mm. like sparkling clean stone and you otherwise are unarmed mm. Mm. Oh. very smart wow it's my turn again <laughs> I well, there's like only, that. There's only one bad guy. There's only one bad guy. Yeah, yeah. Um, okay. <laughs> I wasn't expecting this. <laughs> um, okay, yeah. Well, I'm I'm right here in front of this thing. Um, I am going to. I'm gonna do my Seamorg's wings attack technique. Let's do that. Let's do that. I still have it targeted. I'm going to. Swing my club. Oh, yeah. And I say, You're not the first worm I've faced, and you won't be the last. Oh my god. I do like seven yeah. damage. That's cool. <laughs> it's really um, already very heavily wounded. It's awesome. You guys are kicking so ass I already. smack it once, and then I pound with my fist. Uh, and then I am going to. Ch- 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 so I can, I can shift, right? I can shift one. Yep. So I can shift away from it. Yep. Well, that won't help, but yeah. <laughs> okay. It's big. I, it, I it, could, it could hit you even closer. if you were, even at that distance, it'll be able to hit you, no problem. Yeah, I, I, I don't know. I kind of want to like shift in the way of like to kind of stand in between it and Vanasaur. Okay. Well, you can you can do that. You can move there at least. Yeah. To like, and I want to give it like a like a like a narrow my eyes and give him a look like, stay away from my friend. And then that's my turn. Am I affected anyway? Oh. I mean, other than the fact that you just seem like drawn, Gosh. hypnotically drawn toward this giant lizard, this ancient dra- this big dragon. No, you okay. seem fine. Ooh. You seem fine to me. How do you feel? Hmm. Fine. Uh. And two, oh, what do I do? One, two, three. You guys are fighting a dragon. Yeah, it doesn't matter, does it? You guys are fighting uh, a fucking dragon. <laughs> <laughs> and I will target it. Oh, was it control to target? Yeah. Yep, you got targeted. And I will use my. Uh, where is it now? Howling strike. Did, did you charge? No, okay. I didn't. Well, Not on this occasion. All right. Oh, what? Yeah, you hit. And then I will do my uh, damage. Nice. Okay. I wonder if this is the time. This is a dragon, man. It is. I'm going to use my. A- I'm going I'm to use my action point. <laughs> Actually, you're you're a dragon, man. And I'm going to use my daily power. Wow. Rage, Drake's Frenzy. That sounds good. Uh, Mm. So I've targeted it. Okay, so let's give this a go. Please, 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 please. (laughs) (laughs) That's the opposite of please, 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 please. Oh, (laughs) so good. Fate is cruel. Oh, it's fate is awesome. Uh, have I? Hmm? Uh, wait a minute. Hmm. One. Yeah. Uh, d- hmm. uh, this is what happens uh, when the dragon hypnotizes you, man. You roll once. Half. Oh, damn it. Have I just lost it now? Or do I keep it on for the day? I can't remember. Uh, I don't know what Ra- Rage Drake's Frenzy does. Let's take a look. Uh, Power. Standard. Um. I believe you're raging now, and you have powers yeah. that are buffed when you're raging. If the target's bloody, which it's not. Uh, if you hit, you know, so it's still half damage, so you can go ahead and roll damage. And uh, until uh, you enter the f- rage of the rage drake until the rage ends, once per round when you reduce an enemy to zero hit points, which, okay, I'm not going to worry about that, but you do half damage. And um, now now roll damage. Uh, okay. Uh, That's a lot of dice. Uh, and now uh, right click on that... Um, where it says 27, and you should have a one-half option. Oh, yeah. Done. 13. And now drag that 13 onto the dragon. Gotcha. Uh, Done. There you go. That's kind of the, brute, that's the brute force way to do it. There's, I'm sure there's a better way to do it, but... And then I think I applied the rage 
uh, Rage Jake stuff to my character. That's fine. There, I mean, if, if they're meant to do, right? Yeah, th- which is fine. It's just that in this current situation, it's not obvious how that's going to help because the rage grant there. No, I mean, it's good you did that because you have other powers that do something cool while you're raging. So you're raging now. Um, but the rage drag frenzy allows you to get free attacks when you drop somebody. Well, I mean, if you can drop this thing, you're not going to need any free attacks. So it takes me oh, lonely. two of my movements to finish climbing this wall. And then, like one, four, five, and then I'm just gonna I'm just gonna charge at him. Save some for me, guys. <laughs> Swoop in, two handed, two hands on the long sword. If I can hit with a nine, fuck off. Well, this thing's AC is not huge. It's big. Big things are easier to hit. And I'm going to. Furiously assault him. Uh oh. You've bloodied him. He's wounded. He's half he's at half hit points. Uh the dragon is badly assaulted. It's suddenly it's suddenly aware that it's fighting um for its life. And it instantly yeah. it instinctively reacts. Uh let's see. It's gonna get hang on a minute. You, you, sorry, and you. And it breathes fire on you. Or actually, it breathes Whoa. it breathes chlorine gas. Hang on one second. Okay, it <laughs> uh, it missed two of you and criticaled Zoga. Jesus. Uh oh. Zoga, you take nineteen points of damage, and you find yourself coughing and unable to to move completely because you've got chlorine gas in your lungs. Uh, we have such a good team. track record with poison. <laughs> uh, you are going to take five ongoing poison damage and you're slowed and you take five poison damage at the beginning of every turn until you save. Um, and that that's interesting. That's interesting. So, yeah. Yeah, okay. Awesome. So that's the dragon's reaction to you guys bloodying it. Orin? Yeah, so... Let's see. One, two, three, four, six. I'm still fucking dead away. (laughs) Yeah, I want to go up. I think I'm gonna go up here, but I didn't use run. I just used both of my, I used my standard action and my move action to do movement. That's how that works, right? Yep. Okay. In that case, um, I think I am, I'm just gonna leave it there rather than try and push anything at the moment. Okay, let's see. One, two, three, four, five, six. All right. Great. I mean, look, I'm just gonna look. Let's let's let, let's try and make sure that it gets slowed. Let's try that. All right. Mm-hmm. I'm singing a song of Briaris. Uh, control click. Wait. Yeah, yeah. Have I targeted? It? Yes, I have. Okay, great. Yep. <laughs> <clears throat> Why did why was I targeting me as well? Attack well, not that it matters. At not that it matters. Because you missed yourself and the dragon. Well, I don't even. You know what? It's fine. The it's good news fine. is, once you miss, it untargets you. So you've you've found a way to untarget yourself after accidentally Great. targeting this yourself. Excellent news. Um, you know what I should do though? I should use Noala's tenacity to try and hit the dragon again. <laughs> wow. Huh. Wait, is that an action point? So that means? No. Oh. No, it's just an elven thing. Oh, whoops. I, I said Noala's tenacity. I keep doing that. I meant Dernwin's guidance. Um, sorry. And uh, try again. Look. Uh. I, st- I don't want anyone to think that I care. It's okay. 
<laughs> I'm not. I'm not trying to hit anything. All right. <laughs> I'm not here to fight and do damage. <laughs> wow, this young green dragon is really supportive of us. Uh, oh, sorry. I thought no. I had switched to Anne Polly. Oh my god. Sorry, that was Dang Anne Polly. Maybe Anne Polly. That was Anne Polly that was going to say that. <laughs> Oh, how, did I, how did I fuck that up? Thanks, dragon. Um, Someone's <laughs> guidance is not worth very much. Wish um, I use my daily now if you're just gonna give up. <laughs> so, gosh, let's see. Don one's a pretty bad guide. Should we like truce with this dragon? Like, is this oh, right? Well, the hand first said we that, should fight it. First thing that happens is we see if the dragon's breath weapon recharges. Also, it might be too late to parley. It does. Oh, oh, God. God. Good, yes, good. Yeah, yes. we're in a good formation. So it is going to target Ko, and Sir Vanazor is going to untarget Zoga, and it's going to claw both of you. Huh. Mm. It hits both of you. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And uh, you take some damage. And the dragon Oof. shifts uh, two squares, and that does not provoke. Oh, and, it's just got serious. Yeah, and then it looks over at Lavellus, <laughs> who's singing and doing nothing. Like, like, what's this? <laughs> what's like? And it gives this very intelligent look. Almost, oh, like, in fact, it'll say, um, hang on a minute. Oh, uh, well, you're, you're, it, it tries to, it, it, its eyes fixate on you, and you can tell it's trying to do something, but you're like, what? What? I don't, don't uh, worry, dragon. You and me, <laughs> there's just something, <laughs> there's something in the air between us yeah, that okay, is yeah. getting in the way. It's not us, dragon. <laughs> We're fine. Uh, so that's the d- end of the dragon's <laughs> turn, but then before Ko can take his turn, the dragon uses its instinctive flyby ability on an initiative 10 plus its initiative check, which is 25. The dragon uses a free action. And I, get, I know what it does and you don't. Which is, let's see, one, two, three, four, five. Yeah, it's going to fly over here. And it flies uh, six over and... Six up, so it's in the air now. Ugh. Interesting. Six up, you say? Yeah, hang on a second. Well, maybe not six for now. Um, oops, come back here. Alt. And it's got reach. So now it is in its flyby attack. It can use its bite or its breath weapon. Um... Here. Uh, uh. Oh, that's cool. So it can like fly over and do the breath weapon on a bunch of people. It's gonna it's gonna breathe on Lavellus and Orin. Oh, oh nice. Oh my god. I'm okay. happy about that. So they it's within how many? It is as many. It's three in the air and one two over, so it's three away. Great, love that. Thank you. Go ahead. It's not so bad. Whoa! Uh, automatic miss and a hit. Okay. Um, oh, I still have running on. Sorry, one second. When it um, hits me, yeah. Um, kind of like what happens to Ko uh, when he uses Stone's endurance or whatever it is, and and the the stone kind of forms on the outside of his skin. Yeah. I look like that right now, like like marble forming over top of my skin. Really? Um, yeah, because I'm using Channel Divinity, uh, Elendris's Wrath, which means that whenever a, no. an enemy within no. five squares of me hits me, what? Um, they oh. let's see, my, they my take beautiful dragon. radiant damage. What? Radiant damage equal to my like con this. modifier, well, and they get pushed a, two squares. That's probably not a lot. It's not that much. It's like three. It just takes three damage and gets pushed two squares. Well, three damage. Okay, and gets pushed three squares. It's not nothing. It's more than I've done on any of my turns. <laughs> pushed pushed three squares. It pushed his way. Two squares. One, yeah. two. Okay. So, uh, so 
Yeah, that's cool. Awesome. All right, so that is its um, instinctive flyby, and now it's Coe's turn. All right. You're standing in. Uh, you're standing in water. Not for long. I'm gonna jump. I'm gonna walk a little bit, and I'm gonna jump. So does this take two feet of movement, or two squares for each? I'm muted. Uh, no, no, no. I can hear you. I'm just thinking. No, it's only about ankle deep. So okay, so I can get here and then I can leap up to it. Yeah, because it's fifteen feet in the air. All right, let's see what I can do. Alendris's wrath. That's fucking cool. Is that enough? Oh, that's well, that's five squares. Yeah, that's more than enough. Okay, we'll we'll leave it there. Um. And am I able to grab onto it? Like to ride it? That would be an acrobatics check. Not an athletics check? Um yeah, I can make an athletics check. I'm a, bene- I'm, I'm a, I'm a benevolent benevolent dungeon master. I'm on your side. I want you guys to win. Thank you. An elephant. <laughs> oh my god. You can't even say Barishnikov. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. Does the 21 get it? I mean, you're grabbed on. Ah, yeah. Now I want to whack it with my club. Surprise, surprise. <laughs> okay, I think I have it targeted, so I'm going to keep doing my Seamorg's wings. Miss. Ooh. Well, that's okay, because I'm going to use my action point. Ooh. Oh, yeah, you are. I'm going to do it again. Do I get anything? You sure do. Yes. Encouragement. Thank you, my friend. Encouragement, yeah. A laurel <laughs> and hearty handshake. Thank you, my friend. Encouragement. Encouraged. Ah, I do, but still. Wow, I, that's, yeah, okay. How much yeah, of the I'm damage has been done by only Co? <laughs> that's a good question. Single ghostly handedly. <laughs> Yeah, so I run up and I leap into the air and I grab onto its scales. And I like to think that I find that patch where some of the scales are missing. And I just start beating on that one section. Oh, yeah. That dragon howls. And it sounds like a giant version of Cervanazor's roar. I love and this, it. It echoes, it echoes out across the forest. Probably the humans can hear it. Well, I think that was a good turn. And I'm gonna. If, I mean, if they're all like my that, dragon friend. you guys have a very tiny chance of, su- of surviving. Oh, oops. Uh, how high is the dragon? He's th- he's 15 feet in the air. <sighs> yeah, that's right. Actually, yeah. Wait, but Co jump in on to not drag him down a little bit. No, he could probably have four <laughs> or five Co's on top of him. He did Ooh, carry away. Would I be able to push it? Would you be able to what? I mean, we'll push it down because my Seamorg's wings says I can push it one square. Unfortunately, every action has an equal and opposite reaction. So if oh, you yeah. push it down, that would mean you would go up and that cancels each other out. Mm, okay. 15 feet. Vanasaur's 7 feet. Could I move and try and jump onto it? Or at least try and grab it? The, pr- the, the problem is you're not Zoga. Yeah, and, you, okay. and, and even worse than that is you're not Ko. Uh, Ko, Ko no, has did. special abilities that allow him uh, to leap further and leap farther. So you could try it, but you're going to have to get a running jump, I think. Yeah, okay, so yeah. six plus two is eight, right? So you go one, two, three, four, and then you make your jump. You've got four squares of movement left. You make your, your jump check. You moved at least two squares. You're going to divide your athletics check by five, and you um, you only need a 10. So you're probably automatically going to make it. I think you'll automatically make it because your bonus is so high. Fly like the dragons you were named for. Here's my athletics check incoming. Oh, that would help. Press I think in this one instance, I'm going to rule that a natural one is an automatic failure. Oh, God. 19. Ah. Yeah. Oh. So you, oh, have, yes. you have no problem. You divide that by round, divide that by five, round it down. Is you get you could you get five squares of jumping, but you can't jump farther than your movement. So you're going to end up just on top of this fucking thing. Cervanazor like leaps into the air and ah. smashes into this thing's neck and r- grapples it. Oh, you have to make an athletic. You have to make a uh, yes. another athletics check to grab on. 
Oh, okay. There you go, bro. Yeah, no problem. Yep. <laughs> Uh, so this thing could have got. This thing probably could have got away, if not for the fact that it wanted to be able to. It wanted to stay in range of Lavelle's and Orin to attack. Now, now, now I'll get Yeah, to we it. make excellent bait. <laughs> that's basically what happened. So, so yeah, was that? So I charged to yep, get that, there. That, so you get an attack, but this is going to be the yes. end. Yeah. But not. Do I get my normal attack? So that my the one at the end of the nope. charge. You get no. yes, yes. You do get that one. Yes, you do okay, get that gotcha. one. Yeah. And if you spend yeah. your action point, I don't know if you've done that. You did. You, I spent it already. I yeah, that's right. You spend your rage Drake and you rolled a one. That was awesome. Yeah. Good times. <laughs> I'm gonna cherish. I'm gonna cherish that. <laughs> <laughs> Here we go. Howl it. Oh, he's howling again. <laughs> <laughs> oh, <for fuck's> sake, <laughs> <I guess. laughs> so you just see Vanistor like take this ridiculous flying leap, land on top of this dragon, and then just waft around with his axe oh. around his ears. Look, it's a lot to ask of one dragon man to do the running and the jumping and the flying and the grabbing and the hitting yeah. all at once. The hig, the hig was just too much for me. Yeah, it's too Oof. much. Too much. And too much. So, okay, over to you. All right. Well. Soga is going to do How exactly come, wait, what he just damage absorbed. Why did you what what, what kind of what kind of bullshit resi- damage resistant do you have? When I, I get uh, I insist you take that damage. When I get bloody, I did take that damage. When I get bloodied, I get 5 temporary hit points. Oh, oh cool. that's cool. Oh. That's cool. That's cool. Don't uh, uh, awesome. Don't forget to save at the end of your turn though. Go ahead. You're out, you're slowed. You can only I... move 2 for your movement. Oh, well shit. Yep, it sucks. Uh, you're coughing. You're literally like your lungs that. are still full of chlorine gas, and you can't you can't shake it. It racks your all your muscles are seizing up as you're trying to do something about this. I guess I can't like specifically. I just have to save, right? I can't specifically do anything to try and like remedy this situation, can I? The only thing you can do is somebody else, like if you had a healer, they could try to give you a free saving throw right now, but uh, it's but you don't. And so the only thing you can do is kind of hope that you save at the end of your turn. All right. Well, I'm going to make my way closer, at least, and then give myself a little, you know, stiff upper lip here. Stiff so good boy. upper lip. Boom. I used my I used my move. And I, I used a minor action for inspiring word. I'm going to give uh, give Orin. I'm gonna I'm gonna downgrade my standard action to a move action and give Orin uh, a free move action. Oh. Bloop. Oh, neat. Neat. That is cool. So this is my new encounter power that I got at level two. That's oh, cool. cool. Yep. I this can, is the uh, battlefield commander. This is what yeah, it's like. This is what it's like being in a fucking um, goal war band is that the, 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 the war master can command other people and coordinate their movement and their attacks. Yep. So I like through, through like a fit of, of coughing and trying to kind of get my shit together. I just like motion to you to like move in, in, in preparation for your turn. Sweet. Okay, let me see real quick. So when I move, um, I can move a total of six, but I want to kind of do the move and jump thing as well. Yeah. So uh, will that all fit within this free movement action I get? Because I can move. I just need to move, I think, like technically four. Like uh, one sec. One, two... Three, four. I would be here, and then do I need to roll my athletics to see if I can? You need to get another two. Yeah. So your athletics. You've done. A, you've done a running. You have six movement. You've moved four. You have two left over. You're going to make an athletics check and divide the result by five. And if that result is ten, then you get two. You can use your last two squares of movement as jumping movement, and that'll get you onto the back of the dragon. Okay, cool. Well, actually, technically, it would be getting all of you guys, like, you'd be hanging off its claws. But that's a, that was not dramatic, so. We're going to assume a, 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 the dragon is a two-dimensional flat plane. Okay. All right, let me roll my athletics real quick. This is crazy. Now, that's, that's, ah. that's tw- twice what you needed. Sweet. So I'm on 
the dragon. <sighs> Christ, the entire party's gonna end up on this fucking dragon. This should be interesting. Right. Yeah. We're gonna ride this thing out of the forest. I need to make some saves. I just take saving throw out of my main page, right? Yep. Yeah. Yep, you just make a saving throw. Okay, so there's good news and bad news. Uh, the good news is you've saved. You're no longer going to take ongoing damage. The bad news is that this um, this creature has a um, after effect. This is the first one of these you've seen. Oh, God. Which is after, after you save, there is a lingering after effect. So you're no longer taking damage. Uh, there, you're, but you're still slowed. Oh, it actually, uh, that's interesting. I didn't have to do that. Look, it, it did it all by itself, and I, I accidentally replaced it. That's interesting. I, sh- I didn't have to do anything. That's cool. Let me make sure that the Zoga's thing is going to end um, at the right time. Uh, no, it's save. Come back here. There we go. Okay, cool. So unfortunately, you're you're still slowed. Oren. Okay, let's see. I am going to attack the dragon with my steel serpent strike. Cool. So I'm hoping I manage to hit it because if I do, then I would I would slow it. Um, so I would rather you not do that. Tries. Well, it's too bad that Oren's already formulated her plan. I can't do anything about it. Yeah, fair enough. <laughs> can't argue so, with that. <laughs> all right, so steel serpent strike. Let's see if I hit. Hit. Ah, sweet, sweet. Yes, good. Excellent. Wow, that's a lot of fucking damage. Good, Ooh, good, good, good. Um, and then does wow. this work if I just slowed? And then I'm also gonna go ahead and use Maya. Use Maya. I'm gonna. Oh, no, I'm gonna mark it. Is what I'm gonna <laughs> do. No, sorry. <laughs> Oh, it's not myself. How do I? I, <laughs> I love it whenever I get OD with a joke. My cat. Uh, yeah, like I should not use Maya. <laughs> I should use Maya. No, I'm using Max instead. <laughs> uh, are you done, Orin? No, I'm trying to figure out. Uh, I, I think I'm going to use my action point Ooh. to do something. Use your Alrighty. satisfaction point. Uh huh. Wait. Did I use my action point last combat, or has it been? A, you said we got fully rested, so we get everything back. Yeah. Okay. Correct. All right, because that was last night. Um. Okay. Do I want to do another one of these? Nah. nah, nah, nah Is it early in the day? I'm trying to figure out if I want to use my. Uh, if I no, it's not. It's not early in the day. It's it's after. It's it's probably around uh, four thirty in the afternoon. Sweet. In that case, I'm gonna use my daily. Uh, it's called Villain's Menace, so. Mm. Yes. Ooh. Awesome. I really wish you hadn't done that. God damn. I... Are you going to fucking kill this thing? No, probably not. May I ask, um, is this slowed thing on Zoga something that he can save against? Yeah. Okay, great. Cool, because I'm going to... Go on over there and um, and uh, try how, to, how, wait, try wait, to wait. get. Could you? Where were you? I was over here. Could you put yourself back where you were? Yeah. Yeah. Okay, because you're slowed. I'm slowed. When you did are, I get slowed? When you got breathed on. Oh, I got hit by that. Breath she can. The same move thing. Three though. Same right? thing happened. She can move too. But I thought her speed mm. was six. Is it only? Is it half speed or is you it? Only it's move, just it's slowed, slowed is just two. two. Oh man. Doesn't matter what your movement is. Slowed is two. Okay. Yeah, you're in, you're well, cough, your lungs are full of chlorine gas, just like Zoga's were. You know what? And you're let's coughing. try this. One, two. <laughs> yeah, buckle my okay. shoe. Yes. All right. Step one, Meliora summons. I'm going to pull Zoga over here. <laughs> 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 you got me. All right, great. Then I'm going to use my action point. Bing. Wow. <laughs> Then I'm going to use a heal check to try and give Zoga a save. Because let's be real, I'm not doing very much to this dragon right now. <laughs> I think we're all better off if Zoga can, like, move. All right. Well, the uh, heal check, I think the DC is like, oh, yeah, that's fine. Okay, so now Zoga. Whoa. The only Zoga, good roll I've done. <laughs> Zoga, you can make another save right now. 
Nice. 55% per, chance you shake off the slow. That was uh, not it. Uh, All that work. Uh, it hurts. So it hurts. So encouraging. It hurts. <laughs> the dragon's uh, turn. I'll slow down. Okay. Uh, what? You just hear the dragon kind of going. Ah, <laughs> uh, okay. What are you doing? He's here? laughing? I mean, not maybe, not really. Who knows? I mean, those symbols maybe. all look the same, one after another. Ha ha ha. <laughs> lol, 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 lol. <laughs> oh, yeah, OD, OD knows what he said. Uh, what he said? Lol, lol, lol. So let's see. Uh, what the fuck does this monkey fucker do now? That he's got <laughs> a whole half a party on his back. Um, and he's slow. He's not. He's, he is. That's true. Um, yeah. I'm sorry. Yeah. Oh, my God. This is bad. It's awesome. So oh no. Who of you guys are bloodied? Not I. Lavelle is no, bloodied. No, one. oh, you no one's bloodied. <laughs> sorry. No, this happens automatically. Um, so... Servanazor, I'm not Orin, am I? And Co. Uh. No. Co's bloodied, isn't he? So at the, when yeah, when Orin, Servanazor, and Co, I'll do it at the beginning of his turn. At the beginning of this dragon's turn, um, you guys all like the the wounds that you've taken in battle with this dragon so far, um, burn because this dragon is kind of like from between his scales is always emanating this chlorine gas and it burns mm. it burns your wounds um what if you aren't damaged and haven't taken any hits well then it gets in your lungs and your nose and your ears and your eyes mm -hmm. and other Gross. other orifices or until you mind to get them into your anus eels oh eels. my god eels <laughs> uh inside ya let's see <laughs> yep. and then where they can <laughs> okay so that means you guys uh Oren takes five damage no yep i was wanting to have like a, a uh, perfect Cervanazor, combat where i didn't take any damage Cervanazor takes five damage and ko takes 10 damage ko is almost out yeah, and I think this is actually the first time I've been bloodied. So everyone in the party would probably notice that Ko looks much skinnier than he normally does. That's cool. That as his stone exterior is is kind of fading away, that maybe his muscles, some of them were for show, and he's actually a much thinner stone giant uh, kin than he led on to believe. What? <laughs> he's been wearing a, a shell of sorts this entire campaign. He's oh been wearing god. one of those like stuffed Abstract. muscle suits. Yeah. Yeah. Oh my yeah, god. Yeah. <laughs> like so his his six clothing pack. would be yeah. kind of clean, oh like god. loosely hanging around him at this point. What? <laughs> That's amazing. Wait. Get back here. He can't move dragon? that fast. He's, He's slow. slowed. That dragon is oh, slowed. Oh, that's right. Sorry. Yeah. Your mom's slow. <laughs> yeah. I was trying to cheat and you guys wouldn't let me. Nope. <laughs> I even so, reminded you and you still tried to do it. Well, I was hoping that you thought, well, I reminded him. Now he's not going to do it. All right. <laughs> uh -huh. We're uh, grabbing this dragon, right? Because the token moved so fast. Um, yeah, like, wait a minute. He does, he does, he does move two, he does flap two, his big wings, two squares, 10 feet higher in the air. So he's now, he, he and all you guys are now 25 feet in the air. Falling damage, what's that? And does his breath weapon recharge? Yes. Please say no. No. I'll get me anyway. Yeah, it's unfortunately it does have a big wide neck. It's going to whip its head around and take a bite out of one of you assholes. I don't know which. I guess, <laughs> one, I guess there's, wow. I'll, I'll do one, two, uh, one, two, three, four, five, six. Co, Cervanazor, Orin. One, two, Cervanazor. <laughs> Hot dragon on dragon damage. Right. Wow. So this dragon. <laughs> 
Uh, does anybody have targeted right this second? He is targeted Lavellus. Okay, so I will untarget Lavellus. I'll Thank target Savanazor. And he's going to try and bite you, Odie. This uh, this long, sinuous, snake-like dragon neck whips around and tries to take a chunk out of you. And he does. Did he take a penalty to that, by the way? Yep, minus two. Marked. And it says right there, bite versus AC, mark minus two. I don't like getting more dramatic, gang. Uh-huh. Yep. <laughs> oh, wait, actually... It's adjacent to you. Uh, uh, Makes an attack that does not include you. You can make a melee basic attack against that enemy as an immediate interrupt. So mm. he's about to get. If you do enough damage, whacked. you could save OD. Yeah, wait, yeah, interrupt. Well, I don't want to do that much damage. Wait. <laughs> <laughs> I still get my plus four against him too. So. Yee! Uh, yes. Oh, I got him. Nice. Uh, all right. Yeah. And I get to do. It's going to do additional damage too because of my. Nice. Additional damage, effects plus four. That's right. It's in there. You did it. It's a, you, in there. Yeah, it does a D10 plus ten. That's crazy. Yeah. So, but just He's to a, check, it, that was an interrupting yes. the attack. So did yep. it do less or no damage to me? No, no, no. He if he, if she had well, killed it, then yeah. But, but it interrupts the attack. Correct. Yeah. It doesn't interrupt the attack. So I don't know how many no, actions no. It the dragon has. It, it interrupts the. Well, yeah, it doesn't stop the attack though. Yeah. It doesn't stop it, it, it just interrupts it. Okay. So, in other words, if she had been able to do something to it that would deny it its attack, like if she had killed it, that, well, obviously it wouldn't get, it wouldn't get to do what it was trying to do. It's done its thing. That's its action. And it, you, on its turn, that's, so that's its, that's the end of round three. It's the beginning of round four. And on initiative 25, he uses his instinctive uh, flyby. On initiative of 10 plus his attack, he can use his free action to do a flyby attack, there, which he gains plus four to all defenses. That's useful. Mm. Um, I hate that. He is still slowed. He has a cool ability, which lets him shake off all sorts of bad things, but it doesn't let him shake off slowed. So he's going to go five, six, seven, two more 10 feet higher he's gonna flap you're using his um instinctive flyby and the instinctive flyby gives him the opportunity to use a flyby attack oh actually i'm sorry i have to see if his flyby attack recharges by the way like yeah. anytime he does make an attack like mm -hmm. against somebody who's not me like i can i can smack him again so the dragon is gonna attack you Oren. Oh. With his instinctive flyby, which allows him to use flyby attack, his flyby attack recharged. Um, he can use a bite or a breath weapon. Breath weapon would be bad because it's he wants to breath weapon you guys, but they would also breath weapon himself. So he's gonna he's gonna bite you. I don't want him to bite me. He missed you. Fuck off. He missed me. <laughs> he didn't bite me. And then I think I gotta get rid of his. Um, yeah, yeah. There we go. Got, got rid, now that that's over. Okay, so now it's Ko's turn. Ko, if you're still on his back. At the end of this, at the end of your action, then uh, then you take ongoing damage. Actually, we're, I'm uh, ready. Hang on a second. Let me yes. read this again. Let me read this again. While the dragon is bloodied, any enemy that ends its turn in the aura takes ongoing five poison damage until it saves. So, so Ko, well. We'll see what happens at the end of your turn. <clears throat> it's your turn. Oh, I get a turn? Yeah, well, because the, you don't take damage until the end of your turn. <clears throat> well, here's the thing. Right now, you're poisoned. And you're going to take five damage at the end of your turn until you save. Huh. But if, you, if you're if you still on this dragon's back at the end of your turn, and you're bloodied, that ongoing damage upgrades to ten damage. And that'll kill you. Oh, or it'll, okay. no, it'll knock you out. I'm just sitting here writing my my. Uh... Yeah. Okay. Uh, well, then let's give it a shot, shall we? Yeah. Uh, are we flanking this dragon? Uh, yeah. Sure. Definitely. It can't. It definitely can't defend itself against all three of you. All right. Well, I'm gonna go old reliable. You know what? Actually. I am going to do my daily, my other daily power, my stinging manticore maneuver. And then it says, I know, 
I'm going to do a minimum of 2d6. Now, it's supposed Ooh. to be against a bunch of people that I run adjacent to. So instead, I'm going to say that, like, Ko, without the weight of all the stone on him, just begins to, like, go on all fours and just climb across the back of this dragon while blood is just pouring out of his nose and mouth. And he's just, like, smacking it with his fists as he runs up the neck. That sounds good to me. I didn't even know I needed to make an attack roll. But you, you hit with a five. How is that possible? What the what? Hey. Plus ten. Yeah, f- well, you got a 15. Versus reflex. Versus, oh, versus DC. Right, his reflex is only 13. Yep. It's a big, ugly dragon. With a plus two advantage. Okay. Co kills the uh-huh. dragon. Fuck Yay! Yeah. <laughs> oh. Yeah. Well, I got some bad news for you guys, though. It's crashing! It's crashing! I bet, he, I, I bet I know what's about to happen, and I don't like it. Next check coming. I'm gonna backflip off this dragon. Yeah, I need to like get the get the off this dragon. All right, you take one d10 damage for each ten feet you fall. You guys are, uh, th- you guys are gonna take three d10 damage, falling, which is quite a lot. Nice. But is it into the water? If we're falling into yeah, the water, is it nice. the same? Nice Hang soft on. landing. Mm-hmm. You guys on the dragon's back need to check on whether or not you are trained in acrobatics. Oh, I actually... I... No. No, I'm not. Trained in it? No. Oren? Can I use athletics? Nope. We're the athletics crew. (laughs) No. It's explicitly and only acrobatics. Then I'm not. (laughs) Okay. Uh, Then, uh... It's going to be 2d10 because of the water. You guys, so the, you and the what? dragon. What? Oh, oh Hello? sorry. Yeah? I thought it was, I thought it was 1d10 originally and you're no, like, oh, it's 2d10. No, no I was no, like, no. wait a minute. It's 3d10. <laughs> it's 3d10. Okay. And uh, <laughs> if you're trained in acrobatics, you can like use your acrobatics to go into like a tumble and break your fall to some extent. But none of y'all are. So Damn, I will, I will, just one dive. I, I will rule that you only take 2d10. Since you're falling into water. So that's, yeah, that's a lot of damage. Um, uh, let's see. All. Oh, actually, what's 17 and 5 is 22. So yeah. Oren survives. Co, I'm just going to put you here. Wait, how much since it damage doesn't matter. did you just take? No, that doesn't matter. You took 17 damage. Jesus. <laughs> so the dragon is now of interest only to historians. Its corpse falls into the uh, into the water. And then Sir Vanazor, Co, and Oren smash, fall. You, you fall, you know, 35 feet from the air straight down into the, then the water breaks your fall a little bit, but not enough. And that knocks out Co and Sir Vanazor. Oren survives. I mean, all of you survive. You're just unconscious. Uh, how, how deep is the water? Like, is the, like, can we stand up in it? Yep. Cool. So so climbing, climbing over the uh, climbing over the dragon and then standing on the top of its body. Yeah, fuck yeah. Fuck yeah. There's a giant dragon Steam. corpse. Told you guys we could do it. The water is steaming from all of the outgassing coming out of the dragon's corpse. Um, Technically, aren't me and uh, Co drowning? You're uh, well. I mean, yeah. I mean, I, I, the, water's, the water's not that Zoga, deep. Zoga, wait, Zoga, you and I are still slowed. <laughs> we it gotta get there that cool. quick. I call um, my best for like an hour. <laughs> Unless we run, can we run while slowed? Um, that's a good question. I don't know. It's like Baywatch. <laughs> I don't know. I don't, it's slow, we slow motion imagine. running. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> for the sake of expedience, I'm not going to track. Um, I'm not going to track the ongoing poison and stuff. So we oh, can thank just, goodness, we can just, we can because. Just, assume it's killed us before yep. <laughs> okay that uh, it's power it's magical it's power is somewhat magical and the magic uh disintegrates or dissipates once the dragon is dead uh so you're not slowed anymore but you got to figure out a way to unfuck your friends because uh, they're well, definitely gonna, unconscious I, heal them i guess heal, right and inspire, inspire their dead asses inspire all of us 
Wait, how do I? Oh, I can just use my thing now, right? Because I'm alive. I, I can use my thing. Right? Yeah, you can. Yeah. I'm gonna use my healing surge too. <laughs> Did that work? Am I up? Uh, yeah. Stay as blooded. Hooray! Yeah. Like Does healing, one inspire an unconscious um, giant and dragonborn? Apply healing surge. Apply another one. One more, I guess. Ah, all right. So healthy right now. I'm back to full health. And <laughs> and you guys, having defeated this dragon, among the other things that you have done, you level up. Ooh. Yay! Oh, oh, you man. are now third level. Oh shit! Woo. Ooh. What's third level get us? I don't know. It's a good question. Uh, is there? A, is this actually a cave here? Yep, it is actually a cave. So I'm gonna go <gasps> into it. The, the, oh yeah, god! This is where the dragon's treasure like is. The record, Ooh, yeah, I'm the treasure. I would like the record to show that I did a whole three damage to that dragon. <laughs> <laughs> I'm off into the cave. Where would you all be without me? <laughs> Unfortunately, so yeah, you guys find a um, a modest treasure hoard in here. Uh-huh. It is, uh, it is, it's all there's. A, it's it's matted, and the treasure that's in here, the uh, the armor and the magic armor and the magic weapons that are in here are all coated in kind of you know um, slime from the the water that's the stagnant water that's been in here. And there's a bunch of like mud and twigs and stuff because the dragon sleeps on it. There's also a giant um, T Rex corpse still in the pool, but I don't know what the magic. I don't know what the uh, what the rewards are yet. <coughs> Excuse me. Okay. So I'll, I'll tell you guys in chat. Or maybe I'll tell you guys next week, but probably in chat. Okay. Ooh. Or I, I, I just want, <sighs> I want, I, it would, it, I, I, um, I failed to have this ready. I think it would be cool if chat got to see what you guys got, but. That's cool. You guys uh, are definitely going to get. second there. It really looked like everyone was going to die except Zoga. <laughs> Hey, what about me? I was doing fine. Yeah, <laughs> you were. You were, you were doing, doing okay. Great. No, Orin only. Orin really only took damage at the end there. Only because apparently poisoned me. I mean, you guys slowed it so it couldn't fly too far away, and you guys, uh, you you were able to fucking jump on its back and. You were and at twenty-two damage, right? Pound the shit out of this thing. Uh, Od Piece of piss. wants to take a dragon's tooth as a trophy. But I'm not sure if Savannah saw him do that. Maybe it's a dragon. Savannah saw feel Kill. about killing a dragon. You've killed a you killed a, 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 a moderately difficult dragon, and it, it did it fucked you guys up a little bit. So I feel like that was a pretty good battle. That was super that's cool. That's the first time I've ever killed a dragon as a player. I oh, really? Like it. Like it. Yeah, I'm usually the. Although DM. I don't think that I I still don't think I have. <laughs> Well, fourth edition is like um, every edition since third, where there are dragons of every challenge rating, right? You could be a first level party and fight a dragon. Awesome. Um, it is. It is. If you want to give it a shot, Oakley, let me know. Uh, I did take it. I took it. I took a tooth. All right. Yeah, I think I also... Uh, I think it'd be cool to have like a, a scale in one of the one of the teeth. I don't want a scale. That's too. Just close. make sure that you write down the shit you're taking on your character sheet I somewhere. Yeah, yeah, I put it. I put it in. Because there. if you don't write it down, then you didn't do it. I wrote it down. Yeah, the, like um, Big Spoon makes the point that like you're not you were created by magic, Od. You're not like the biological offspring of dragons. Mm, okay. Yeah, that's true. So you don't have like any kind of ans- any kind of literal ancestry here. You're, you you and you identify much more with human culture than anything else. Yeah. So you got to think like then, would a human do it? Probably then you'd do it. Then I have it. Cool. So this is a good place to stop. It's only ten thirty. I realize, but that's good for me. That was a big battle, and I want you guys to get the opportunity to level up and see what kind of cool yeah. shit you get.